Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I am very happy that you are here with me today. On today's episode, we are looking at a loungewear chic module for my spring capsule wardrobe. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. I have done two previous episodes uh, sharing different modules for my spring capsule wardrobe. So if you have missed those, I will make sure to link those down below. Again, let's touch on what a module specifically is for those of you that don't know, maybe haven't seen uh, any of my previous episodes. Modules are basically just a smaller collection within the capsule wardrobe or within any sort of wardrobe. Usually they're going to be focusing on specific things, whether it's a specific print, a specific color, maybe it's a specific category, a specific mood, or a specific occasion. So for today, I am going to be looking at a loungewear chic module, including 11 pieces, yes. And as well as that, I will also be sharing 15 looks that I've created out of the module. First, we will go through all of the different pieces that I'm including in the module. And then after that, we'll get into the fun stuff of the video montage of the 15 looks. Can't have a module capsule wardrobe video without a video montage, can we? No. Okay, so before we get started, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos on how to build a capsule wardrobe or a module wardrobe, um, I will link my capsule wardrobe playlist down below so you can you know, look at those videos because it goes into further detail on how I build these capsule wardrobes. So the inspiration or the sort of vibe for today's collection is loungewear, obviously. What I do love about loungewear is I love the functionality and the comfort of it. For this collection, it was kind of my own little personal challenge to see if I could make loungewear chic, if I could make loungewear just a little bit more elevated stylistically to make me more comfortable you know, in wearing it um, for an everyday stylistic purpose. All right, so with that, let's get started. Let's take a look at the product that I am featuring here today. Okay, so starting off, we are gonna look at the anchor pieces, which are the pieces that are sort of the core of the wardrobe that I am revolving everything else around in this collection. So I've decided to go with category uh, for anchor pieces versus like a color or a print or a theme, just because a loungewear collection is pretty neutral, pretty straightforward. So yeah, just gonna start off with bottoms for my anchor pieces. So we have the Reformation Boyfriend Sweatpants. I got these in a size extra small because I wanted them to be sort of fitted um, in the waist and hip area. Uh, these are 100% organic cotton, which I absolutely love because it is difficult to try to find a pair of sweatpants that doesn't have polyester in them, funny enough. And the second anchor piece is going to be the Skims Cotton Rib Legging. I got these in a size small, and the material for this is 95% cotton and 5% spandex. Now, the reason why I went for these leggings is again, because it has that 95% cotton. It is extremely difficult, again, to find leggings that don't have polyester in them. For me, I just know for comfort-wise and functionality that I do better with things that are mostly cotton. Okay, so moving on to pairing pieces. So we have the Everlane Luster Mock Neck Bodysuit. Uh, I got this in a size small and in color cocoa. Love the material of this, super flattering, super chic. Because this piece has sophistication and femininity to it, I feel like this is going to be a great contrast to the loungewear, which is gonna be a little bit more casual, a little bit more youthful and playful. And of course, I cannot do this without my Citizens of Humanity Kayla white button-up shirt. This is a size small in color white. And the third 
pairing piece is the Parks Project Crop Tea. I've had this for a while now. I don't think they have this specific one anymore, but they have plenty of other ones. I love this brand because basically a portion of the profits go to protecting our national parks, which I absolutely love because I love our national parks and I love visiting our national parks. So I love being able to support our national parks while also purchasing uh, my beloved clothing, my beloved t-shirts, yeah dual purpose. The reason why I like these pairing pieces is because each of them basically serve a different function. They serve a different purpose. So I know I'm going to have a lot of options to work with, with these three tops. All right, next we are looking at layering pieces. So we've got the Mott and Bow French Terry sweatshirt. I got this in size large because I wanted it to be extra oversized and in color vintage white. This is 100% Peruvian cotton, which I absolutely love because again, I feel like it is super difficult to try to find sweatshirts that don't have polyester in them. And the second piece is going to be my go-to St. Sophia Cambridge blazer in size small in color black. This I have actually used in all three modules for my spring capsule wardrobe. The reason why I wanted to include it in today's episode with the loungewear is because the blazer provides that bit of sophistication, which again adds that contrast to the youthfulness, the casualness, the playfulness of the loungewear pieces. So that is what sort of elevates the look to that chic level. All right, next we are talking about the sprinkle pieces. Sprinkle pieces are just as you would think, the sprinkles on top, the cherries on top, the things that are just gonna finish it off. So for today, I have two sprinkle pieces and both I have received from roztager.com. Elizabeth has the most well curated special website. It's one of my favorite websites to visit um, just for the mere fact of just seeing the pieces that she brings in. They're all just very unique, very contemporary and just very special. Okay, so my sprinkle pieces are Lola Hat's Commando Hat. This is a handmade straw hat, super excited about this. What I love about this hat is just, there is just little unique details. I love the little strap in the back, the little strap adjustment for basically any head size. Um, I have a really big head, so uh, yeah, I basically need to, fully let it out. The next sprinkle piece is the Bon Mason socks. Uh, I've talked about these previously and these are one of my all time favorite sock brands ever. It is basically French knitted socks and they are so comfortable. They're just such good quality uh, and I absolutely love the prints. Normally I wouldn't include socks uh, as one of my pieces for a module wardrobe or a capsule wardrobe. The reason why I think these are so valuable for today's look is that loungewear looks can fall flat real quick because they're just super basic um, and it, you know, it's, it's a little bit different difficult to bring in that bit of zhuzh. Because again, if I'm trying to elevate these loungewear looks to be more chic, more stylistic, I feel like a statement sock is a great uh, detail for doing that. All right, and shoes. Shoes I've kind of made a separate category um, because yeah, they're, they kind of stand on their own, don't they? So for shoes, I'm actually featuring two pairs of shoes from Soothies. This is a new brand that I just recently came across and I'm absolutely obsessed with. What they first came out with was these slippers or these sandals that are just really cushy and basically for health purposes, just for people that have arthritis, plantar fasciitis. I'm somebody that gets plantar fasciitis quite a bit, so I was really excited to try these out. And as well as that, they just look really cool. So I love, you know I love me some dual purpose pieces. So love, love, love that functionality as well as the style. So the first pair of shoes for today's module is the Soothies slippers. I got these in size seven and in color black. And the second pair is going to be the Soothies rubber boots. I got these in size six and a half to seven and I got them in color black. All right, so that is the 11 pieces that we are looking at here today that will create the 15 looks that I'm about to share with you. So with that, Let's take a look at these 15 loungewear chic outfits.
what'd you think? All right, so there we have it. Yeah, those were my 15 loungewear chic looks. Uh, comment down below and let me know which ones are your favorite. Definitely stay tuned for my upcoming spring capsule wardrobe recap where we go through all three modules that I have shared with you guys so far and see how they can be integrated together. All right, you guys, so if you did like today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And if you are already subscribed, click that bell to get notified when I post new episodes. There we go. All right, you guys, you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.